All right, we're milking this morning, and this is our food. We have a little top dress we put on our regular goat food pellet. Then we have a mix of seeds, a little bit of corn, whole oats, rolled oats, and a special blend grass pellet that has some like beet pulp in it and some other stuff. Okay, here's Mavis's udder and Gertie's udder. Alright, that's the milk we got from our three Nigerian dwarf milking goats that we have. There you go. It's really good. I really like the milk. We pasteurize it and after we pasteurize it, it tastes amazing. So the Nigerian milk is perfect. It's really good. And I've never been a really big believer in goat's milk. I've tried it from the stores and stuff like that and hated it. And this I was a little bit leery about drinking it and just trying to get over the weirdness of like it just came out of that animal and now I'm going to drink it for some reason, but it's amazing. Um, I think more people should get into it and just be comfortable with it. It's good, it's good for you, and there's so much less processing and chemicals, it's a good thing. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. So as you guys know, we've had, uh, We've had a mouse problem in recent years. So we got some mouse traps. Huh. We don't have names yet, but I think I'm gonna call this one, this one Jerry Jr. Cause she looks like our own barn cat Jerry. And I think the little black one I'm gonna name Pepper. Pepper. Whoa. They're wild. Wild. Trying to keep them up in the loft, but uh, our plan's not working too well. They kind of just go downstairs when they want. Good morning, babies! There's a lot of babies in here. And they always get their morning green. Woo! Right on your head. Oh my goodness. We pasteurize all the milk we drink, and today we're gonna to show you how we do that. Okay. So here's what the little pail looks like. It holds two gallons of milk. We only do a gallon at a time. And this is the little stopper it comes with, which I'll show you how to use that once we get down to the barn. So we're gonna pour our milk in here, and then we'll go down and pasteurize it. I'll also show you how I cool down the milk really quickly. So we have our two jars of milk here and we're just going to pour it in. I like to sanitize this bucket through the dishwasher 
and then it's ready to go. So we keep the pasteurizer down here at the barn, the mechanical part. This part doesn't really need to be sanitized because everything's contained in here. So it comes with a hose that has a little cork in it. First thing you do is uncork your hose and then you're going to open the lid, put your pot inside the container on these little brackets. So the little handles will set right down in the grooves. And this is the hardest part of the whole thing. But if you apply even pressure while you're pushing it down, it's easier. So you're gonna line up the ball with the hole and then you're gonna apply even pressure and twist so that it locks under those little um, holders. This is gonna keep the tank from floating up. Then you're gonna push your handle down. Then it comes with this little hose that you attach to your faucet. So you're gonna attach that to your faucet. Okay, and then you're gonna fill this, press this down on the side, all the way about midway down. Just feed it down on the side. And then you're gonna fill it with water until it pours out of the spout. I use hot water because then it's less, so this has to heat up, so it heats the milk up faster. Okay, we're filling it with hot water. Filling it with water until the water starts to come out of our drain hose. Once the water starts coming out of your drain hose, your, your water level is high enough. Okay, water's coming out, so then you're going to turn off the water, and you're going to put the cork in. And then you're going to put the lid on. Oh wait, then you're going to remove the hose. Then you're going to put the lid on. And then you're just going to plug it in. And it will make a very loud buzzing noise when it's complete. This one was gifted to us and we are so, so excited to have it. Um, they do run about $400 if you purchase one. And there are some settings you can use on the front to adjust the temperature. You want to spot check and make sure it's getting up to the correct temperature. There is a manual online where you can read all of the instructions and how to use it. But this is just a quick little easy tutorial. So we'll let it do its thing. It takes about 15 minutes and then we'll unplug it and show you the rest. Okay, it just buzzed. So now we can uncork the hose. Remove the lid. Put your hose back in. Now you're going to turn on the cold water and it's going to rinse through the hot water and cool it down a little bit. I do this for just a couple minutes and then I'm going to take my milk back up to the house. Okay, we're back in the kitchen, and this is how I cool down my milk. I actually freeze a pail in a bigger pot of water. And I'm gonna pour all my milk in there and stir it 
until it comes down to the temperature that I want. And then we are done. All right guys, thanks for watching how we pasteurize our goat's milk and drink it. I'm seriously telling you guys, if you guys haven't tried Nigerian Dwarf goat's milk, it is the best. It is absolutely the best milk I've ever had. So uh, thanks for watching our video and we'll see you on the next one. Best milk ever.